In this video, you will learn about an astounding fact discovered by the yogis of ancient India. One of the most important field of study for them was the development of a human being to his highest potential. But this study was deeply rooted in exact scientific procedures. Take the example of the Kundalini and the chakras present within a human body. You will be shocked to know that the locations of the major chakras perfectly align with the major nerve plexus in the body. Many researchers have hypothesized that the vagus nerve present in the human body could be the mysterious kundalini or the coiled serpent. Because the advanced practitioners of kundalini yoga could voluntarily control involuntary actions such as heartbeat, hormone production and aging. The secret yogic and tantric scriptures clearly say, unless one knows how to master his body, he is a shava or dead. But one who has complete mastery over his body is a shiva. In the dimly lit recesses of ancient India, hidden within the esoteric folds of Hinduism, lies a body of knowledge so profound that it continues to perplex and inspire modern science. Tantra, often misunderstood as mere rituals or practices associated with mysticism, is in fact a codified system of advanced metaphysical and scientific principles that predate many discoveries in quantum physics, neuroscience, and consciousness studies. The ancient seers, known as rishis, who delved into these mysteries did not simply rely on faith but instead engaged in rigorous experiential inquiry, developing a system that merges the external universe with the microcosm of human existence. Tantra operates on the fundamental premise that the universe is a vibrational field, a concept eerily similar to modern quantum field theory. Thousands of years before, quantum physicists proposed that everything in existence is made of energy fields, fluctuating at different frequencies. The tantric masters had already recognized this truth. They spoke of Shakti, the primal energy that pulsates through all creation, and Shiva, the underlying consciousness that perceives it. This dynamic interplay between energy and consciousness forms the basis of modern physics, which now suggests that the observer influences reality, a notion that Tantra has long embraced through the principle of Spanda, or cosmic vibration. As the Spanda Karikas state, the entire universe is nothing but a manifestation of divine vibration, Spanda. The yogic texts of Tantra discuss Kundalini, an enigmatic force coiled at the base of the spine, which when awakened, ascends through the chakras, unlocking states of heightened awareness. Neuroscience now acknowledges that the brain has untapped potential, and studies in neuroplasticity indicate that meditative and yogic practices can rewire the brain, leading to expanded cognition and heightened states of consciousness. Interestingly, the seven chakras described in Tantra correspond closely with nerve plexuses and endocrine glands in the human body, suggesting that ancient Indian seers had an intuitive grasp of bioenergetics long before the advent of modern physiology. The Shiva Samhita affirms this, stating, there are 72,000 nadis, energy channels, in the body, but the Sushumna, Ida, and Pingala are the most important. When the Kundalini awakens, it travels through the Sushumna, bringing liberation. Another striking parallel between Tantra and modern science is the concept of non-duality, or Advaita. The Tantric worldview posits that the material and immaterial worlds are not separate, but are different manifestations of the same underlying reality. This mirrors the fundamental premise of quantum mechanics, which reveals that at a subatomic level, particles exist in a state of superposition, being both here and there simultaneously, until observed. The seers of Tantra, through their deep meditative practices, arrived at a similar conclusion, that the universe is not composed of distinct entities, but rather an interconnected whole where perception defines reality. The Mandukya Upanishad elucidates this idea, stating, The self 
Atman is Brahman. It is beyond space, beyond time, and beyond causality. The ancient texts also hint at a knowledge of fractal geometry and self-similarity, concepts only recently explored in chaos theory. The Sri Yantra, a geometric pattern revered in Tantra, consists of interlocking triangles that form a structure reflecting the self-replicating patterns found in nature, from the branching of trees to the spiraling of galaxies. This profound understanding of sacred geometry suggests that tantric masters possessed insights into the mathematical principles that govern existence centuries before modern mathematicians conceptualized them. The Rig Veda proclaims the cosmos is woven together with a golden thread, Hiranyagarbha, an intricate pattern beyond ordinary perception. Additionally, Tantra speaks of multiple dimensions of existence, categorizing reality into layers of perception that range from the gross physical world to the subtlest causal plane. These descriptions are astonishingly similar to modern theories in cosmology, such as string theory, which postulates the existence of multiple dimensions beyond the three-dimensional world we perceive. In the intricate rituals and meditative techniques of Tantra, Practitioners access these dimensions through altered states of consciousness, hinting at the possibility that ancient sages were exploring multidimensional reality through the laboratory of the mind. The Yoga Vasistha describes this phenomenon, stating, The world we see is but a mere projection of the mind. What is outside is a reflection of what is within. The concept of time in Tantra is also profoundly advanced. While classical physics viewed time as linear and absolute, Tantra envisioned it as cyclical and relative, much like Einstein's theory of relativity, which asserts that time is not a fixed entity, but is dependent on the observer's frame of reference. The yugas, or cosmic cycles, described in Hinduism, depict a grander scale of time that resonates with modern astrophysical theories about the birth and death of universes. The Bhagavata Purana details this cyclic nature of time. Time is a wheel ever turning, ever repeating. The universe dissolves and reforms in endless cycles. The practice of mantra, a core element of tantra, also bears striking resemblances to the principles of sound resonance and frequency modulation. The vibrational impact of specific sounds on the human body and mind is now being studied under cymatics and bioacoustics, which demonstrate that sound waves can influence molecular structures. Ancient tantric texts detail the power of sound vibrations to shape reality, long before the scientific world began to investigate the impact of frequencies on physical matter. The Yajur Veda declares, by sound was the universe created, and by sound shall it dissolve. Perhaps the most extraordinary aspect of Tantra is its understanding of consciousness itself. In contemporary science, the nature of consciousness remains one of the greatest mysteries, with debates raging over whether it is a byproduct of the brain or an independent field of awareness. Tantra, however, asserts unequivocally that consciousness is fundamental and precedes matter, a hypothesis increasingly considered in theories of quantum consciousness proposed by physicists like Roger Penrose and Stuart Hameroff. The Brihadaranyaka Upanishad states, This Atman, Self, is consciousness itself. It is neither born, nor does it perish. It is beyond all change. What is truly astonishing is that these scientific ideas, only recently explored by modern physicists, neuroscientists and mathematicians, were intuitively understood by the ancient seers of Tantra through meditation, observation, and deep introspection. They were not merely philosophers, but scientists of the inner world, mapping consciousness, energy, and the universe long before empirical tools existed. So, were these ancient seers simply mystics with profound intuitive capabilities, or did they possess a lost science one that modern civilization is only now beginning to rediscover. 
Could it be that Tantra is not just an esoteric practice, but a sophisticated system of knowledge that bridges the gap between material and spiritual sciences? Perhaps in unraveling the deeper mysteries of Tantra, we may find answers to some of the most perplexing questions of our time, hidden in plain sight within the wisdom of the ancients. <laughs>